Uh, let's turn our attention to Capitol Hill. Former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz is facing the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee today over criticisms of the company's labor practices. Yahoo Finance's Brooke De Palma has been listening in on that hearing. I think we're still on what? Opening statements there, right? Just on opening and statements we, we saw a picture of Bernie Sanders before, <laughs> and I think he's the chair of that committee. I think right. we're expecting his comments to be barbed, perhaps. That's right. Well, it's kicking off the Senate hearing right here. He's already giving Howard Schultz and Starbucks about 14 days to reach a conclusion here when it comes to this unionization efforts. Those that have voted yes to these stores, of course, this is in wage that it, uh, this is an accusation that they wage an aggressive and illegal union busting campaign under Howard Schultz leadership. Now, the former Starbucks exec can, will, is, well, is expected to emphasize in his prepared remarks that Starbucks should have a direct relationship with its partners. They still believe that that is fundamental Starbucks culture and success. Schultz says is expected to say rather that they have uh, engaged in good faith bargaining and more importantly, that the union's wrongdoing is the reason why no conclusions have been reached here, saying, quote, however, union representatives have improperly demanded multi-store negotiations, delayed or refused to attend meetings, and insisted on unlawful pre preconditions such as virtual bargaining and participations by outside observers. Now, of those stores that have voted yes, the labor organization Starbucks Workers United is behind that effort. And when I asked them what exactly they hope to get out of today, they said, quote, we hope this hearing exposes Starbucks' illegal union busting campaign, exposes the truth about how Starbucks really treats their workers. They went on to agree with Senate, Senate Chair that Howard Schultz is the quote unquote architect of Starbucks' anti union campaign, has driven Starbucks' labor policy. Now, it's important to note here that of the stores that have unionized, have voted yes to unionize right there, there is 293, a small portion of Starbucks total, 9,000 U.S. company-owned stores. But Starbucks Workers United did announce that during the annual meeting last week, seven more stores filed to unionize. Of course, they still have yet to vote on whether or not that will proceed. But in today's hearing, we're expected to hear from a variety of different folks, including Maggie Carter, one of the first barista at a location in Knoxville, Tennessee to unionize. We're also set to hear from a worker that the NLRB says was fired after looking and trying to unionize his location along with labor experts and legal experts across the board. But of course, this comes as Howard Schultz is set any moment now to make his remarks when it comes to these accusations. So what sort of implications uh, or even precedent could this hearing set? Yeah, well, Starbucks is known to give out a uh, higher minimum wage. They're known to set their college tuition program. They're known to give mental health benefits as well as other perks and benefits, they call it. And so ultimately, this can lead to a wave across the industry. What precedent is set at this meeting? When I spoke to one analyst yesterday, Sean Dunlop of Morningstar, he said, quote, Starbucks has long been perceived as a leader in the restaurant space with respect to the employee value proposition. So to see the unionization push strike at the coffee chain reverberates across the rest of the industry. Of course, we're already seeing this Chipotle store in Michigan voting yes to unionize. And so certainly setting a precedent here. And we'll continue to tune in all day. All right. Yahoo Finance's own Brooke De Palma tracking this. And you've got your headphones with you on set. We'll let you put those headphones back in and tune into what's going on. Thanks so much, Brooke.